-hmm. Somebody everybody has wants to, get... to be a developer. It's crazy. And it's how so, everybody, everybody does. wants to be like you talk. I have so many people and like I've heard I've heard it from many, many people and like especially like women who say my husband is a builder or my husband is a developer. This is a very common thing. Sure. My husband is a builder. My husband's a developer. And I imagine <clears throat> in most cases, there has not been much built nor developed. But hmm. there's some attempts for sure. Right. Yeah. Or some funds put into maybe or something like that, partnerships and stuff like that. But the reality is, is like, it's much more complicated, right? There's way more risk. It's really hard to find deals. There's a ton of stuff that that's involved. Well, and again, I just... on the way up, like you buy a piece of land and you hang mm -hmm. on to it and then mm -hmm. you sell it, right? And if you mm -hmm. do stuff in between, maybe it was good. Maybe it was worthwhile. Maybe not even necessary, mm -hmm. right? But it's like in these crazy environments, it's like, you have to pivot. You can't use the old system. I, I was speaking to some guys uh, on the deal I'm working on last week, and they were so smart. They were older. They'd been in the game for a long time, and they had like recognized that the environment is different. They need to. There, there's holes that can be plugged now with with financing, right? So mm -hmm. they recognized that all the deals don't work like they used to work anymore. There's a need for equity. Right. There's a need for equity out there mm -hmm. that replaced the need for debt. Right. Because the debt is scared and the debt doesn't look at values the same way anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. So you need these underwriting entrepreneurial development kind of people with money that can like put the capital in the right places. Mm -hmm. Right. That can put the capital in the right places now because to satisfy everybody. And so the deal can push forward. So the deal can push forward, right? Because yeah. if, if it, like my, my deal that I'm working on, for example, I had to put it together in a way that I've never done before, but it used to be, you know, here's some equity from, from us and we're going to borrow the rest from somebody right mm -hmm. at the best rate and at get a rate, the, right? but to so, get the best LTV we can exactly. get but, and put but the, ben the benefit in. now the benefit now to these equity guys is they're like well we could take on debt with this money somewhere else at some sort of fixed rate with like limited returns or now we can actually be a part of this development and have a much greater potential for returns right so like there's like astronomically different so, returns so they're like okay now instead of lending it out as debt there's actually, you know, a ton more risk there and, and everything else. We can put it in um, as equity and that we, we can end up having a better return. And we actually have like a stake in this development. Right. Yeah. 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 And there's no one ahead of them. Right. Exactly. Like, so, 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 so the risk for them now becomes like the delta between the purchase price and the value. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yep. Because it's not the same. Like it can't be. I mean, I guess it. some guys are capable of stealing stuff from people still for mm -hmm. getting ridiculous deals because they know something's coming or something. And no, all of a that sudden spreadsheet one day... is where the value is. Well, part of the it, spreadsheet. It's, it's on the spreadsheet. That's the value. Otherwise, when they look at it, they go, where's the value? <laughs> but when they look at you the spreadsheet. You have to see it at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> but if they it's go, one. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. yeah I get it. I and get that's it. what people, listen, this is what I'm dealing with right now on multifamily is that people are coming to me and they're saying, well, the cap rate and, oh, you know, the, the income and the tenants have been there forever. And I'm like, all right, well, like here, like I have my own spreadsheet for that. Here is exactly how we're going to reposition it. Here is exactly where, you know, the rents will be after a couple of years. Here's your refinance. Here's how much money you're going to pull out of this deal. This is what you're going to be cash flowing at the end. Here's all the things that, you know, could go wrong. And here's how we're going to, you know, adjust for that, right? Within reason. And they go, oh, but it's it's not a good cap rate. And I'm like, and you don't know what you're talking about. And you're never going to find a property. So good luck. Because you're never going to buy that way. Like your strategy has to be on a spreadsheet somewhere on, on how you're going to make money in real estate in the, in the Toronto area. If you don't have that sort of strategy in place, you're just a retail investor buying with everybody else. And you can just get in line. And if the market changes, you're screwed. There is no, there is no hope for you. No. And so... How do you find an edge in a market where there's so much money chasing nothing? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. How do you find those deals? You have the do you have a better spreadsheet? I mean that. Well, I'm okay. dead serious. That's a that's a legitimate answer. You the, it's the better part strategy of it. that you have, you'll see things that others won't. 
Correct. And you can find the value where other people will look at the deal and say, ah, what if, what if you're going to say, sure, right now it sucks, but look at where this is going to be in two to three years or more. Sure. Right? Yeah. 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 And if I wasn't such a dick, I'd share my brilliant strategy that seems to be working out, but like yeah, well, we're that thing is that. worth gold, right? Yeah. No worries. But, 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 but like, that's the thing. It's not just the spreadsheet. It's, it's, it's the ability to come up with something or a way to see something that others may not have seen because they've seen the land already. That mm -hmm. is for certain, right? Yeah. They've seen the deal, right? Yeah, like they've seen the nobody's price. inventing land here anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so like you're probably not the first guy to come along and call these people and want to buy the property. So like, how do you do it different than the guys who couldn't put it together before? And and that's different for different people, right? Depending on skill set and I guess financing behind them and the experience and all kinds of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But like for me, the the spreadsheet's important, but you have to know what you can do to the property before you can make the spreadsheet, right? And mm -hmm. so that means you have to understand all the planning and the zoning and what's going on with other developments in the area and what. Uh, you know, what's that guy got 34 and like, what are they saying about that 34? Is it realistic or is it really going to be 28? Like, how do I figure out what the hell the value is of this thing mm -hmm. differently than everyone else? Right. Or where is there an opportunity in the market that other people may not be so interested? In? That's what I look for. Cause I'm not like Menkes, right. I'm not mm -hmm. throwing around hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for something that all those guys don't give a shit about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's probably more guys like me though than them. Definitely. Right. Yeah. So you got to figure out like a, a a way to see things, or 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 even a confidence in how you see it to move forward. I think yeah. is pretty important, right? So like, if I came in to your office, TK, and you were the potential investor, and mm -hmm. I was the developer, and I was like, hey, you know, like I kind of think I might do this, and. Uh, yeah, this guy got five and I'm confident that we're going to get four is very different than like the last one I did. We got 300% and we, I know for a fact we can do this because I did one just down the street and I worked on this and I, like, there's a different feeling you get from that guy. Right. So it's like this yeah. confidence in the deal where it's like, I know what that guy did. I know what that sold for. I worked on this one. I worked on that. I know that gives people a different reason to invest in that deal too, mm -hmm. right? So so the spreadsheet is important, but it's like, it's a, it's part of the story. I think I said this before, or maybe I said it on the Tom Story Show, like you're building a story because it's not real until you actually have like this stamped zoned certificate, right? Mm -hmm. The rest of it is like, I, I think this is what we can do, yeah, right? Looks good, right? <laughs> well, but it's like, okay, so... What I think is important to me only, but now yeah. it's like, okay, so Greg Ewins agrees. Supporting cast. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right. And then the municipal lawyer says, I can get behind this. And the architect yeah. is like, right. And then you go and see what the city says. Yeah. And if the city says, you know what, like, we're okay with this. Yeah. Which is not often, but it depends on your approach now. Yeah. But the city's under pressure, man.